Hey alligators, what's up? It's Allie Hardesty, and today's video is going to be a get ready with me. I am so excited for you guys to see how I did my hair and my makeup like this. Thank you so much, Pete Cosmetics and Duvole, for sponsoring this video. I'm really, really excited for you guys to see what products I use from them to attain this look, as well as give you guys my coupon codes. If you use Ali10 through Pete Cosmetics, you will get 10% off, as well as Ali through Duvole to get 70% off for their hot tools because this worked amazing on my hair. Not to mention I actually just broke my last one, so this came in handy and this actually works a lot better if I do say so myself. So yeah, let's get into the video. So I have already applied primer and now we're gonna put my hair up. I know that it looks kind of crazy when I do this, but it works the same as a headband or a hair tie, just you know, to get your hair out of your face pretty much. Now we gotta wet the beauty blender. Now that the beauty blender is wet, we are going to apply some foundation to our face, you know. I usually just dab it all over. This is the same stuff that I used in my previous makeup tutorial, but if you have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I do not actually use beauty blenders or anything of the sort so I'm really excited to be using the one from P Cosmetics today and I actually loved it way better than a brush I am never going back as well as this thing right here which I believe is called a silly sponge either way I know that it is used to apply foundation you can tell by the look on my face I am in amazement right now applying this I'm just rubbing it in all over my skin it goes on super super smooth so I don't know it kind of gives off the condom on beauty blender effect that I've seen a lot of beauty gurus do but I loved it like seriously 10 out of 10 so this is what I use to apply the base of my foundation and then continue to pat it in with my beauty blender Right here, I decided to add a little bit to my neck as well, just because it's naturally a different color than my face, and a lot of you guys complain about it in the comments. Now it's time for some powder. This stuff is from Clinique. I used it in my last tutorial. We're going to take a big fluffy brush and just rub it all over your face, all over your neck, honestly, wherever you have applied foundation. Next, I like to fill in my eyebrows. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Dip in the color Soft Brown. So first, I'm just going to brush through them, and then I dip the powder in the little brush, and I start from the very tip of my brow just to get the ends, and I work my way towards the front doing little hair-like strokes. After you finish filling them in, it's time for some highlight. So this little pencil is a lifesaver. I put it underneath my brow bone, and then I take a little brush to rub it in so it basically just cleans up your whole brows in general. This is the foundation and concealer kit from Peak Cosmetics and I just took the lightest color possible, like the really, really white one, and put it underneath my eyes because your girl never sleeps. I try to put it in the shape of kind of like a triangle, you know, but not to necessarily rub it in because that part's coming next. Again, we are going to use our pink beauty blender from Peak Cosmetics and buff it into our skin. Ooh, heck yeah, I look way more awake now. If you guys want to get 10% off of their cosmetics, be sure to use the code ALLY10. I will have that in the description box. Now it's time to apply some bronzer. I usually just put it at the top of my forehead and then the sides of my face. This helps just to add some color and then we're going to do the same thing with blush and highlight except for blush goes right on my cheekbones and highlight goes right above my cheekbones, kind of under my eye-ish. We're going to quick curl our eyelashes, that way everything looks bomb and apply some eyeshadow primer so that way our eyeshadow stays on all day. Do 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 do. Yay! Now it's time for eyeshadow. Again, this stuff is from Pete Cosmetics. It's a huge palette with a ton of colors and today I, of course, am going to be using the really bright, glossy, sparkly pink one that's right in the middle. We are going to apply that to the top and the bottom just so it looks like we knew what we were doing here and take some white, sparkly stuff, put that in the corner of our eyes because, again, it makes you look a lot more awake when you really low-key slept for, like, two hours. Last but not least, we're going to take some purple and rub it into our crease just to finish up the eyeshadow look. Now it's eyeliner time! Woohoo! This is my favorite eyeliner. It's from Jessie's Girl. You can get it on Amazon. Super cheap we're gonna do that little baby wing you know gotta make it even so gotta touch it up a little bit and then we're gonna take some regular pencil eyeliner you can get at the drugstore and apply it to our bottom line we are going to quick apply a very thin layer of mascara before using P cosmetics fiber lash gel which is awesome makes your lashes look so long I couldn't even begin to tell you I do not use fake lashes so this is a game changer for me first you're gonna take the very large tube like the longer one and put it on your eyelash just like so just like you're applying mascara 
once you're through with this, this is when you take the little bottle to apply the fiber lashes. It's pretty crazy. It almost makes you look like you have eyelash extensions. And once you're satisfied with the way that those look, you can go ahead and take the longer tube. Again, it's the gel from Peak Cosmetics. And just go ahead and apply that on top to kind of lock the look in. Now that we finish our eyes, we're almost done, but not quite. It's time to move on to lipstick. I have three different matte lipsticks here with me today, all from Peak Cosmetics because they're freaking awesome. We are going to use the one in the color Milky Way and I'm just going to apply it right on my lips like so. It goes on really, really smooth and if you do mess up, no big deal. It'll wash off really, really well, but it does last the entire day. So that's what this step is for. You put it over, which kind of just sets it and makes it so that it's on your lips for good. Now that we're done with makeup, it's time to move on to our hair. Before getting started, I did spray my hair with some hairspray as well as some heat protectant and brush through my hair with the brush from Duvole.com because it gets rid of all those tangles and that's important that we don't have any knots in our hair before we start curling it. Today I'm using the Duvole 32mm Pro Series Curling Wand. This wand is great for getting large curls that last all day. You can use my code Allie for 70% off this and all their styling tools at Duvole.com and I will have a link in the description for you so you can order yours right away. To start off, I really like to put my hair into different sections. That way I'm able to get every level of my hair to the biggest curl possible. I've noticed that if you curl each section in the same direction, it tends to look a lot more natural. So that is what I'm doing. I usually go in the direction towards the back of my head and then you can let down another section of hair. You're going to want to continue doing this until your entire head of hair is curled and then you can go ahead and brush the pieces out. In my opinion, doing this just tends to make everything look a lot more put together like beachy wavy curls and then if you want to you can spray it with some more hairspray if your hair does tend to usually fall out. Thanks for watching. If you guys like this video be sure to let me know by giving it a big thumbs up as well as leave a comment below letting me know which one was your favorite product. I am obsessed with these lashes, the lipstick, everything, everything. So thank you so much again Duvole and Peak Cosmetics for sponsoring this video. Be sure to check out their links below if you guys want to check out their websites and products for yourself because they freaking worked on me. So make sure you subscribe to my channel if you are new here or turn on post notifications by hitting that bell button right next to the subscription box. That way you are notified whenever I post a new video. Follow my social media. I will have the links on the screen and I will see you guys next time. Later alligators. Bye.